slightly uh, high challenge by Naeem on Les Robinson. Free kick to Oxford. Dernin. Robinson. Gascoigne again doing defensive duty. This is Melville for Oxford. Phillips. And Gascoigne now trying to get the ball from him. But good play by Phillips. Worked that beautifully. And he's found Martin Foyle. And there's a chance here for Oxford. And Foyle gets the ball in the net and gets it back to 2-1. And that was all about the work done by Les Phillips in midfield, giving Oxford the opening to get back into the game through Foyle. Half an hour gone. Phillips won the midfield battle there, without a doubt. Lovely through ball. Tottenham are caught terribly square, it has to be said. Round towards it and nicely taken. So Martin Foyle gets Brian Horton's team back in the cup side. I suppose some people might say that Torsbeck couldn't have uh, brought Foyle down in that situation because he would have been sent off. Waiting for Terry Fennick to go down the right. Back with Naeem again. Gascoigne. Taking them all on, Gascoigne. Oh, and Ken Vasey put an arm out and did well. But it was a scintillating run and he threatened to tiptoe through the lock. This is the dribble by Gascoigne, and it's nice to use the word dribble because we don't see enough of it in the game these days, in my opinion, but this is a lad who can do it, and do it really well. He was tight to the line when he tried to cut the ball back and gave the goalkeeper just enough room. Gascoigne's looking up. He didn't really have much to aim at there. He's found Fennick. Stewart. Trying to shake off Phillips, and he has. Wide to Allen, Spurs have four players in the middle waiting for a cross. Away by Melville. It's a corner in stoppage time at the end of the first half. Foster, oh what a good clearance, Allen. So close to 3-1. Stewart. And the first half ending with Spurs on the attack. Gascoigne. Lineker again. Good ball. Allen. And Lineker's header dropped onto the crossbar in the last attack of the first half. Lineker having scored earlier to put Spurs 2-0 up. Gary Lineker got it really well there and it just clipped the bar. The FA Cup hasn't been a lucky competition for Terry Venable since he came as manager to Spurs. They haven't got further than this fourth round stage in the last three years. Here's Naeem, Vanden Howe to Gascoigne. Oxford United of course won the League Cup in 1986 and uh, had several giant killing runs in both competitions. It's a free kick to Tottenham. First minute of the second half. Gas going to take it. Mabbott is forward. Stewart's header. Away by Foyle. Now it's Dernin. Phillips. Oxford's best FA Cup run was... Uh, Way back 1964, as a 4th Division club, they got to the 6th round. Vanden Howe. Phillips, Logan goes again here, and foils in the area, no good with Howells. A rough and tumble, but nothing given. Oxford supporters shouting for a penalty. 
Nogan was the player who tumbled. In fact, uh, the player who challenged him, David Howells, is down. Anxious face of Terry Venables. Now this is what happened, it was uh, a through ball which came off Gary Mabbott's heels. Nogan tried to get in behind Howells. Howells held him off, but in doing so, he was injured in the fall. Well, Steve Sedgley would be an obvious replacement here for Spurs. Well, this is a sight nobody wants to see. No, he certainly doesn't. But it's bad luck on David Howells. Carried off on a stretcher early in the second half. And Sedgley is on in his place. Allen. Gascoigne takes over. The crowd were pleased about that. It was going nowhere that attack. But it is now. Walsh. Gascoigne. It really is going somewhere now. It's a brilliant goal. And that's what he can do. And the crowd loved it. Gascoigne has turned an attack that was going into a curly sack into one that may drive Tottenham down a main road into the fifth round of the cup. It was an absolutely outstanding piece of individual play and Venables can smile and he needs to say nothing. 58 minutes gone and the ground lifted by Paul Gascoigne. It was as if they were inviting him to do something unexpected and just look at what he did. He played the first ball into Walsh. He got the return. He went through the two centre-backs. So wide you thought he couldn't score. And then split it in from an angle. This is Stewart. Off Melville. Allen. Well, that was smart with number three that uh, got in the way. Not sure how in much intent there was there, but there was a little bit of reaction afterwards. David Axel has decided it's a free kick to Spurs on the edge of the area, which uh, brings a rueful smile from Foster, who's seen it all, but he might see Gascoigne try something here. It's his territory, and Ken Vasey will know that. He's taken it early. No, he won't be allowed. He thinks so quickly, he's too quick for the referee. <laughs> he's loving it. He was, he was still getting the wall back, David Axel, and Gascoigne thought he would just uh, show you where he might be putting it. What's he going to do this time? Off the heads. Away to Vanden Howe now. Foul again. No good. Well, that's made the angle a bit more difficult. Well, they want him to try one from here now, the fans. It's a wicked angle and he's taking a straight run up to it round the ball and it goes out for a corner kick well it really is the age of the entertainer it should be and he is a prime candidate you really need players like this to lift a Saturday afternoon and talk about crowd pleaser they're thrilled to bits with him at the moment